Well, that's not happening. And we want to welcome in now uh, a guy who this has to be a very personal issue for. He's a former governor of New York, the entire state, but he also worked very hard to revitalize parts of New York City that a lot of folks for a long time did not want to go to. And it's an honor to talk to you, Governor Pataki. Thanks for being with us here on Newsmax TV. Thank, thank you, John. Nice being on with you. All right. So when you hear de Blasio making these public pleas, and one of the things that has come up is it's too little, too late, but now we know that people are not listening to these pleas. What's your take? Uh, well, uh, the main... I sadly believe predictable given thousands of people chanting, what do we want, dead cops. What the mayor should do is enforce the law. And if they engage in an illegal protest, arrest them. If they engage in violence as they did against police before these assassinations, arrest and prosecute them. Uh, there's a reason. There are laws in the book in this city and the mayor is the one who has to make sure they're enforced. And sadly, that was not the case prior to this horrible event. Well, we've had some debate here on America's Forum earlier today uh, about the, the techniques that were used uh, by Mayor Giuliani. Whether they worked or not is not really up for debate, though, because we know New York City uh, became a lot safer. Has Mayor Bill de Blasio already done a lot of the work that folks like you and Rudy Giuliani worked so hard to do when they were in office? I think, sadly, he's created a, a climate of mistrust, particularly between the police and the city. And, and most tragically, uh, in minority communities towards the police. And that has got to end. Uh, it was uh, under not just Mayor Giuliani, but Mayor Bloomberg and Commissioner Kelly, where the police department in New York did such an incredible job taking New York City from the most dangerous city in America to the safest large city in, in the country, saving thousands of lives. There is no better trained, more professional force. And sadly, beginning a year or two ago, for political reasons, people began to demonize that great police department, which, by the way, is a majority-minority police force, uh, and, and doing it for their own political reasons. And tragically, a consequence of that rhetoric attacking these police was that uh, horrible assassination. Now, of course, this was part of de Blasio's campaign, talking about stopping the stop and frisk techniques that, again, a lot of folks would point to as a reason why New York City was uh, a, turned out to be a much safer place. But we're also seeing the fact that he may have earned the votes of a lot of those folks, but not the respect. Well, I'll tell you, John, what I think is that uh, back during the heated Democratic primary, everybody was angling for the support of Al Sharpton. And the more anti-police you could be, the more saying you were going to fire Commissioner Ray Kelly, who did a spectacular job in, in increasing minorities in the police force and in reducing crime, the better your chances were of getting Sharpton support and winning that primary. And sadly, not just the de Blasio, uh, but th while this was going on, Eric Holder went weighs in and says, yes, the New York Police Department is engaged in illegal activities and files a lawsuit demanding a federal monitor. This is the best police force in America, the most respected police force in America, the most successful police force in America. And he doesn't want to monitor an investigation into why in Chicago so many dozens and dozens of minority kids and young people are being killed every weekend. But he does in New York where the police have done such an outstanding job. I think that created a climate where community p people listening to their leaders, whether it's the attorney general or the mayor, uh, began to doubt uh, this police department. And that is tragic, and the tragic consequences have followed. Well, you brought up a couple of good points there, and, and I'm glad you mentioned uh, former police commissioner Ray Kelly's name, too, because I did not, and he deserves a lot of credit for the safer city that New York has become. And you also talked about Al Sharpton and, and the courting of Al Sharpton during the Democratic primary for the, for the mayorship of New York City. But do you think that this now maybe could undo Al Sharpton's standing? Because what has happened is just so beyond the pale. And Al Sharpton's, if, if there's not blood on, it, on his hands, his fingerprints, I think, in some ways are on this. Uh, John, what is it? you're right. What has happened is beyond the pale. Uh, but what I hope happens is that the people of New York rally behind our police department. And, and not just the people of New York. Mayor de Blasio should apologize for helping create this climate and for demonizing and not having the backs of our police officers. If that happens, then let's look forward. Let's come together. Let's, let's understand we well, have let's, a uh, tremendous Let me tell you what, Governor. We'll department. come together. we got to step aside for a commercial break. We'll come together and continue the conversation right after this.